Hello and welcome to Trains and Fiatic. Today I'm doing it slightly different. As you can see I'm actually doing a screen capture rather than filming. There will be a bit of filming later on but today I'm showing you how to do um, a software update to the e ESU Mobile Controller 2. So that's why I'm doing it slightly different. So what do I need to do? First thing to do is open up your web browser of choice. So in this case, I use Chrome. And there we go. Then you do a search for ESU. And then you can see ESU electrical solution in something. That's the one you want. Then this is where about you register your eCOS. So if you have registered your eCOS, you should be logged in, which you press, which will show your login just here. If you haven't logged in, I'll log out and then you just press for login, which brings you this screen here, put in your username and password and then press login. Once you have done that, your next job is to download the software. Also while, you're, while I'm here, you have other functions available to you as an ESU user. You have a forum where you can put for help and a few other bits, but I'll click on the download section. Then you click on firmware and software. And you can see there, uh, just there, there's mobile controller to firmware. So you click on that. And then you click on download. You need to read all the terms and conditions. So scroll down, reading everything. And then press download. And then it creates a file just at the bottom here for you. Double click and you get your standard window warning. You click yes, so you can start to download the software. First of all, it brings up uh, the language selector, where you choose English and press OK. Then you have a standard install wizard. So click next. This is my default file share place for, for programs. Then you press next again and then install. At the end, it come up with launch mobile controller 2 updates. You can either have it tit and it will load the software straight away or untit and you'll need to find it. So I'll launch it straight away. And now you have access to the software. So it's saying connect your mobile controller to. So I'll do that in a second. I'll show you that on screen and then I'll come back to this system. Okay, I have my controller plugged in via its uh, microphone. I'm just about to plug the USB into the computer. Now if I click on here, it means the computer's active. Actually see it's connected. Those are all the options, but I don't want to take any options. And you can now see the mobile controller update is there. So first thing to do is press start update. It's telling you how to do it. So it's cl click OK and click start to install so complete package using uh, package installer 
and always on there and then press OK and install and press install next package and you can see the controller is now installing so first package is coming through this is the control software so that's now done and then press that's it so that's everything installed I think so I'll just bring up the installer again where is it Oh, it's under M. Just press start update again. And press OK. And install. So that's the first one being installed which I know will work fine but make sure not to press install net package until it has installed on your controller so you then as you can see first one installed you now press install net packet and again it's telling you to press OK and install So that's now for software updated. So now that's it for software. And then I just see what have changed on the device. Okay, I'm now rebooting the device. Just to make sure that all the updates are installed. The good thing that I've already learned is if you haven't quite installed it properly first time around you can just re go around again which is very good with ESU. They're trying to make all of her software idiot proof and let's face it if I can use it anyone can use it as I make some really stupid mistakes at times. So I'm just letting the software to reboot itself. Uh, it does take a few minutes but it isn't showing any signs of major updates you've got to remember you can't update for software through for Google Play Store you need to do it via a PC so for devices up I'll just zoom in a little bit and load up the software The software is loading, it will complain no command station. So I'll just go into demo mode. If I click on settings and settings I can see if there's any differences. So if I click on About Mobile Controller 2, I can see it's on the latest software 1.11, which is what I just installed. So I now know that this is completely up to date. I hope you found this video useful, or at least informative. Make sure to like, subscribe, tell your friends and comment. Thank you for all the comments I have had on for previous videos about the uh, mobile controller too. I'll do another video with all my solutions and what I have done to personalise it. So I'll see you next time. Richard.